should head to the mayor's office. All right, why? Because when a man like him asks for a meeting, it's best not to keep him waiting. He asked for a meeting? With who? With the saints. And he just called you out of the blue? My sister and I worked with him several times. He knows we get results. And what are we getting results on? I'm sure he'll tell you when we get there. You trust him? He's a powerful man in a powerful position. And he's unhappy with Stag's presence in Steelport. Well, that last part's reason enough for me. The explosions heard in the sky over Steelport were not, in fact, evidence of an alien invasion. Stag has confirmed that some of their cargo aircraft were involved in a suspicious incident that damaged or destroyed several planes. This incident resulted in a large amount of wreckage, including bodies, raining down over parts of Steelport. The exact cause of the incident is unknown, but the wild rumors of a superhero-like figure smashing the flying planes with a bare fist can surely be discounted. At this time, we cannot estimate the extent of damages caused by this incident. This is Jane Valderrama with your Steelport Air Safety Report. Kids, have you ever wondered what it's like to be part of a real live gang? Yeah! What are we waiting for? We're not walking in there until you promise to play nice. Are you serious? Repeat after me. Don't fuck with the mayor. Look, sweetie. I'll fuck with whoever I wanna fuck with. I mean, who's this guy I think he is? Viola, is this the kid you were talking about? Bert fucking Reynolds? Who else could keep this town running? Besides, I love my constituents. Sir, I'm a huge fan. Excuse me, honey. Viola says the Saints have the new game in town. If that's the case, I want in. Uh, yeah, great. What do you need? I got a zombie problem that I want. Wait, a what problem? <sighs> Zombies. You mean metaphorically, the celebrity-obsessed media drug masses, yes? This ain't Los Angeles. I'll tell you about it later. You knew about this? So what do you say, kid? On that cleanup ain't exactly in our wheelhouse, but hey, we'll give it a whirl. Aren't you worried about pissing off Stag? You're acting like I never had to outsmart a paramilitary organization before. Call me when it's done. Oh my god, this guy is fucking awesome. <sighs> Stop being a fanboy. Did I really agree to fight zombies? It's too late now. You don't back out after agreeing to something with the mayor. With anyone else, that would not matter. But for Bert... <sighs> What's the plan here? We put on the gas masks and kill the zombies. And neutralize the chemicals, of course. But for killing the zombies, what's the plan for that? Shotguns are said to work. So are lawnmowers. Or frying pans. I'm not picky. Contact and stag. There are three containers leaking the virus into the air. They'll have to be submerged in water to be neutralized. Think you can handle that? No problem, Mr. Reynolds. Stag gave me just what I will need. Make this easy. 
Easy enough. Now for the next one. Well, you are... Help me! They're everywhere! Predictable. I will be right there. Again. Well, I was going to say thanks. Can you even kill something that's dead? Philosophically, I will ask Oleg. In the meantime, we shall experiment. How scientific. Maybe I can fix it there. We must... Hurrying! I don't help here. He's zombie. Got it. Fix it. I can't get 
getting pieces of these things on me. It is part of the job. Few containers to go. Good. You get this done, and you can count on the Steelport municipality to back the Saints. SWAT teams, favors from the police chief, a little help from me personally, whatever you need, you get. Mayor Reynolds, it will be my pleasure to report a job well done. than just our enemies. I'm saying the Saints could create zombies to fight with us, overwhelming our enemies with the tide of flesh. Interesting. Why didn't I think of it? Just hold on. Commander, what the hell are you doing? There have been some complications, Senator. Complications? Don't talk to me about complications. I want results. You want results? Then authorize the use of the Daedalus. If Congress got on board, Homeland Security would never allow it. This is out of control. I am coming to Steelport. Zombies and Monica Hughes? A way to stop Kilbane. Come to the Broken Shillelagh. We can all talk there. All of us? All right. What? Don't you like Pierce? You try being called the new girl all the time and see how you like it. <sighs> Whatever. I'll be there soon. With zombies devouring our neighbor's brains and stag seemingly powerless to stop them, Steelport was in a desperate plight. 
Mayor Bergberg decided that desperate times call for desperate measures and enlisted the help of the Saints to combat the undead menace. Though details of the Saints' anti-zombie campaign remain sketchy, not even the Walking Dead could withstand the Saints' unparalleled talents for violence and mayhem. Because our gallant mayor rose to the occasion, Steelport can sleep easy tonight knowing our brains are safe. This is Jane Valderrama with the Steelport Mortuary Report. Alright, I'm done fucking around. I want Kilbane. You wanna hurt Kilbane? You gotta hurt his reputation. So, what, we humiliate him? <sighs> Can't we just kill the bastard? Take Kilbane's mask and all that's left is Eddie Pryor. It's worse than killing him. I don't know, this is more Angel's thing. Kilbane would never agree to fight Angel. He's more scared of Angel than me? Yeah, no offense, but you're kinda ridiculous. Relax. You don't look hot in a speedo. Kenzie left you that weapon. Yes? The RC gun. You'll need it to take control of the Luchador vehicles. And those vehicles will cause havoc and kill their drivers. These are supposed to look like accidents, remember? They and I will cause accidental havoc. Mm -hmm. Trust me, Kenzie. No one will suspect a thing. You are certain that Kilbane won't agree to fight you? No, it's not better than him. But he will agree to fight me? If there's no more contenders, he'll have to. Good. But I still think killing him would be much simpler. Easier? Yes. But nothing worth doing is easy. When you raise Kilbane's mask to the screaming crowd, you'll know you made the right choice. I am trusting you on this one. That's right, folks. Get those hepatitis vaccines updated because the blood will be flying soon at Murder Ball 31. Right you are, Zach. And who better to announce the official lineup than the champion himself, Kilbane? Oh, you know, opponents have been arriving from all over to face their fears and meet the architect of their demise. So stay tuned as the press conference will be coming to you live. That witch door heading towards the car is the Mad Mangler, Little Roberts. He will amuse himself by leaving a trail of twisted corpses as he drives. Uh, actually, he's pretty laid right back. Good luck convincing the press. Of that. Let's get to the press dump. Hey, what's wrong with this car? all day. Who is the next target? Christopher the Clubber Johnson. He should be on his boat now. I think the Clubber is about to throw his last party. Breaking news. 
Jeez. Minutes ago, Mad Mangler Merle Roberts, a luchador slated to compete in the upcoming Murder Brawl 31, ran over several pedestrians in what witnesses say was a rage-induced vehicular massacre. His body is being pulled out of the fiery wreckage as his career ended at a dead end. This is Jane Valderrama with a breaking news report. Kinsey, I'm really liking this device. Cup board one night and three together. You would be bored less often if you were getting laid. Electronics are good for that too. Not good enough, I think. are such dangerous toys. Not as dangerous as helicopters. Trash can Teddy is on a sky tour of the city. Good information. You are making this easy. Know your enemy. Know yourself. More breaking news. Blood has chummed the water of Steelport as two boats lost control within minutes of each other, resulting in the deaths of the drivers, other boaters, and partygoers on a nearby pier. Is this a boating stunt gone horribly wrong, or is death smoothing out a wrinkle in his design? This is Jane Valderrama with a breaking news report. This has been a good day. We have more, yes? I saved the worst for last. El Presidente. Good, good. What's the complication? <sighs> He's reached out to Stag for protection. He's afraid that Kilbane will try to kill him before the match. If Kinsey's device can control a tank, Stag will commit a few more atrocities. just in. It was shades of the great bootlegger recall of Aught 7, as yet another mechanical failure resulted in a fatal mid-air helicopter crash. Citizens of Steelport, a word of advice. Pull over now. This is Jane Valderrama with a breaking news report.
going to defeat you. My training gives me an advantage. Can we talk? Surrender? Ladies and gentlemen, the Stillwater Butcher has graced us with their presence. You want to fight the best? You fight me. The best? <laughs> the best is beating Sway the Spider God in a Tijuana scaffold match. The best is defending the world title 13 times in one night. The best is winning a last man standing match with two broken legs! Trust me, little Icarus. You're flying too close to the sun. Oh, my God. Quit being a bitch and put your mask up. If you want to be broken by the walking apocalypse, I will gladly oblige you. Okay, so why are we here? Losing his mask is the ultimate shame a luchador can feel. I can't steal it back. I need to earn it. All right, how do we do that? We hurt a lot of people. You have a plan, yes? We tear this place apart until someone who knows where my mask is shows up. Like who? This is close enough. Good enough. Let's do this. That's how it's done. Shall we introduce ourselves? What are you doing in my casino? Where is Kilbane keeping my mask? Okay, okay. Jeez, it's gotta be in the vault, behind the teller cages. If you knew Kilbane had your mask, why didn't you go look for it? He broke my spirit. I didn't think I was worthy enough to get it back. What changed? Meeting the Saints. Here it is. Are you sure it is the real one? I know every curve, every color, every mark on this mask. Put on your mask, Angel, and we can go. 
Angel de la Muerte is reborn! Time for us to be leaving. Not yet. It's time to send Kilbane a message. Start with those statues. Sounds good to me. Tonight's been a great night, and it's not slowing up, Bobby. An incredible night, Zach. And now, it's time for the main event. I can't wait. Let's do it. <laughs> there he is, Bobby. Eddie Kilbane Pryor, the walking apocalypse himself. You can't help but wonder how the Stillwater Butcher can't compete. I'll tell you, Zach, this psycho is a complete whack job. <laughs> You know, when he came out of the womb, this guy literally choked out the doctor with his own umbilical cord. Is that fucking sick? I'll be ringside keeping luchadors off your ass while you finish Killbane. Good luck, man. Well, there it is, Bobby. The Saints receiving no love here. Not at all. It is raining hate down where they are, and of course it is. After what their capo did to Stillwater, they're lucky the fans aren't knifing them on their way to the ring. Wait, oh my god, look at that. It's Angel de la Muerte. Angel de la Muerte, the second half of a pale riders, sometimes regarded as the herald of a walking apocalypse. The youngest wrestler to ever win the Super K Cup is here in the Steel Court Arena. History is writing itself tonight, Zach. After his questionable loss to Kilbane years ago, Angel dropped off the face of the earth. If you're a fan of Murder Brawl, this is shaping up to be the best night of your life. 
time to put on the show. All right, here we go. And here's the butcher of Stillwater, Swagger and in. And speaking of surprises, here comes the Luchadors in force. The Butcher getting some help from the fans. This has just turned into a lumberjack match from hell. All right, Bobby, you know, this is a classic match. Speed versus power, youth versus age, brains versus brawn. Well, you know, the fact that these two are tag team partners really adds another layer to the whole dimension. They train together. Hold that thought, Bobby. The Luchadors are on the side of the ring again. Don't think I'm forgetting what we were talking about, Bobby. Oh my God, no angel is out of the ring. I can't believe this, Bobby. This is punishing to watch. The Luchadors are manhandling angels. This is sick. He's getting kicked around like a sack full of dead puppies. Jeez, oh, wait. The Butcher of Stillwater is making his way towards Angel. How much can one person be expected to... Oh my God, a chainsaw! What the f***? Oh my God. Luchador's plan, Bobby. They didn't account for the murder brawl chainsaw. It's got to be getting slick on that floor. Hey, I gotta get my grandma to get the mop. It was a desperate move for a desperate time, but it looks like the gamble has paid off. Now this is what people came here to see. The Butcher of Stillwater on an unstoppable rampage. You may can't be happy to see this. Oh my goodness, look at the blood fly. I could have had a Vietti. Look how far that spray went. Towel, please. Are you still able to fight, Angel? I think I broke my leg. Get in there and kick that bastard's ass. I can hold off these jobbers. Well, it looks like people are going to see the fight they paid for as the Butcher of Stillwater stands toe-to-toe -to -toe with Kilbane. Now, this is classic Saints tactics. Use someone to weaken up the opponent that swoop on in for the I already beat your champion. Now, kneel before the walking apocalypse! I could have killed you a dozen times. I let you live to humiliate you here. When I'm through with you, you'll be begging for me to kill you! This is it, folks. Two giants in the field of destruction facing off for our entertainment. Does it get any better than this? No, it doesn't. Though only one of these two has the good sense to leave the violence in the ring. Let's all remember how the Stillwater Butcher got the name. Our support goes out to the people of Stillwater for the deaths caused by the Saints. I think you'd have to be... Another kill switch. He dodged it. Here comes the reversal. Look at the brutality from the Butcher. Not like the punches being thrown in here tonight, Zach. Both of our contenders seem to be out for blood. Kilbane isn't bowing down to the Butcher anytime soon. But this celebrity of the streets isn't making it easy on Kilbane. There seems to be something more going on than two world-renowned titans wishing to settle who rules the mountaintop. No matter who wins tonight, someone is going home with crushed dreams and internal bleeding. The crowd can't get enough of the cards, it's quite frank. Oh, my God! And Kilbane goes sailing out of the ring! But wait, he's already heading back in. Looks like the Stillwater Butcher isn't getting a moment's rest tonight. That's right, Zach. There are no free rides against the walking apocalypse. You betcha. If the Butcher doesn't start using those weapons, the audience may riot. Another miss from Kilbane! The champion cannot be happy with that one, Zach. Stick with you. Go, Rose. There he goes. Unbelievable. All's fair in love and 
luchadors in his place. Murder Brawl is certainly giving the finest and blood gushing, bone mashing entertainment tonight, Bobby. My heart goes out for the cleanup crew on this one, Zach. Give it up while you can still walk. You won't even realize how insignificant can he land the kill switch. Unbelievable! Another reversal! This is incredible! The Killbane just can't connect with the kill switch. It's just a match. It's my fucking reputation! This is my city. I am it, Caesar! Oh. And I get to fiddle while it burns. No one who was in attendance will ever forget the incredible spectacle that was Murder Brawl 31. The capacity crowd anticipating a grudge match between Eddie Kilbane Pryor and the Butcher of Stillwater was first shocked and delighted by the stunning return of Kilbane's former tag team partner, Angel de la Muerte. In the end, it was the Butcher of Stillwater who stole the show by dealing Kilbane a crushing and humiliating defeat. This may have been the final page of Kilbane's storied career, but with the return of Ankel and emergence of the Butcher, Murder Brawl fans are too excited to care. This is Jane Valderrama with your Steelport Fight Night news. Pierce, you heard anything about what happened to Kilbane? Nope. We need to know where he is. Yep. You're playing chess again, aren't you? Yeah. Damn it, Pierce. Oh, hey, hey, come to the crib. We got something important to talk about. Ugh. The Saints will always win.
So what's up? <sighs> Heard back from Legal Lee. Studio wants you to do a screen test for gangsters in space. No, fuck that. We're done being corporate whores. So who's win? What's that? Oh, shit! Ah! God damn it! What the hell is going on? We got to get down there. before they destroy the city. I'll keep my ear on the police band. Let you know where things are really bad. Good. Thanks, Kinsey. Let's get this over with. Let's If not thorough. I can say for stack.
loot stores at the armory. Let's not keep them waiting. Always nice to see the boys. when they come to you. 